Hey guys, it's Melanie alongside my trusty assistant Alf who is in my lap here just ready to take his afternoon nap. We hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Um, typically this video goes up on Saturdays here on my channel. However, yesterday I shared my initial first sniff impressions of the 12 new country and Kringle candles that are coming out for spring summer 2024. If you missed that video, I will link it in the description box down below. That is just a true first sniff impressions video. I didn't actually have the fragrance notes, all of the fragrance notes uh, prior to filming that video. So I will be going through and updating the fragrance notes in the description box. Hopefully I will have some time to do that this weekend. So um, if you're curious about the actual scent notes, um, I will, I'll just have to put those in the description box. So, but I feel like after looking at the fragrance notes now, my nose was pretty spot on for, you know, like a lot of the notes that are in a lot of these different candles. So that was kind of nice to see. I know that Kringle gets a little uh, heavy with with the amount of you know fragrance notes they give us in any given candle and a lot of us really just kind of smell usually like a few of like the main notes and we don't necessarily pick up all of like the more nuanced type of notes within any given fragrance um, and there are some people out there who have noses that can just pick through absolutely every single note that is listed just kind of depends on you know what your approach is to home fragrance so anyway um i'm really excited for those to be launching i'm going to be taking you guys through today to show you what's in the crocs in the lamps and what's currently burning and you will see two of those new spring summer fragrances lit um, in the entryway and in the kitchen so you'll get to see them in action here but i will be doing post burn reviews for all of these spring and summer fragrances in the coming weeks so excited to share those but that is the reason that today's uh video um didn't go up yesterday is i was kind of just excited to share my first sniff impressions so um yeah today let's get into yield weekly home fragrance roundup and talk about everything that i was burning and melting this past week um as always check out the description box right below this video there's going to be information on where to purchase anything that i'm showing you guys here there's discount codes. I have an affiliate discount code with both Kringle and Homeworks. So if you want to save 15% on either of those companies' websites, you can do so with those discount codes. Um, there's sales, uh, sales information for the sales that are happening at the different candle companies that I uh, I tend to prefer. <laughs> He is he's struggling to get comfortable today, you guys. So hopefully he settles down here in a minute. Um, but yeah, the description box is usually a plethora of information. So feel free to check that out. If you're not sure about candle crocs or candle lamps, um, if you don't know how to use those, um, check out my candle croc and candle lamp 101. That is always listed in the description box. And then I also have links for really great options for crocs and lamps. So make sure you check that out. So without further ado, I'm going to take you guys now around a little tour of the house where you can see what I'm crocking, what I'm lamping, and what I'm currently burning. And then we'll come back here and we'll talk about some candles that I finished this week, um, a couple of updates on some other things and wax melts, and then we'll be able to wrap it up. So let's get into it. Okay, sorry that I'm like awkwardly standing behind the camera here, but I don't know where else to go. <laughs> So I'm just going to stand here and talk. Okay, we are in the entryway. A um, couple things to address here. First, I'm going to talk about the candle that I'm currently burning. It is the new Kringle Country Candle um, Strawberry Lemonade. And let me just tell you right now, oh, scent-wise, big fat winner. Um, this smells so good. It is so authentic. Um, this will be a definite summer repurchase. Um, I'm not going to repurchase until I finish this first one, but holy cannoli is this so yummy, you guys. If you are in the market for a strawberry lemonade, uh, this is the one to try for sure. Um, and then uh, I guess uh, let's address the big elephant here <laughs> in the room because I know I'm going to get a ton of questions about it. Yes, this is a new hurricane. This was uh, a hurricane that was shared in the Homeworks uh, Facebook group. I fell in love with the shape of it, so I had to get it. Um, it's from Pottery Barn. Um, 
it is being clearanced out just to warn you right now this might not be the easiest piece to find but if you can hunt it down it is stunning um i did save an extra 20 percent, so i only paid right around 50 dollars for this one um it was available for ship to home for me so i just had it shipped to me um but you can do a potential like in-store pickup with this one so go to the pottery barn website um type in your zip code and see if it's available for pickup in your area i know i do not think that this is available for ship to home anymore but obviously you know there may have been some canceled orders so it's still worth looking into but if you can at all get your hands on this piece, it is stunning. I will show you. Um, there is obviously a Homeworks uh, candle pedestal inside. This, this portion does lift up, so it's very easy to put a pedestal inside. Um, and then it just adds a little bit more of like a, I don't know, like a fun look, but you don't need it. The candles look great without the addition of, um, of the pedestal as well. I will say, that pedestal right there and a like smaller like um or i guess i should say shorter seashell one that i have actually i think it's right down here if you have this one <laughs> this guy right here this one also fits inside um but uh any of my other like floral pedestals they don't <laughs> They are too wide at like the base of the pedestal and the glass doesn't sit um, properly on the wooden base anymore and it kind of teeters around. So I would say if, if you only want this to be able to put pedestals inside, um, you're going to have to be, a, not all pedestals are going to fit. Let's just say that. That being said, again, you don't need it. It looks great without a pedestal, but isn't it a beautiful piece? I love it so much. So again, Sherborne Hurricane from Pottery Barn is what you're looking for. I will link it down below, so check out the description box. Okay, let's move on. Yikes, sorry about the atrocious lighting in here, but um, this is what we're working with. <laughs> okay, this is uh, my kitchen here, obviously, um, and this is the Chester Hurricane from Pottery Barn, now long discontinued. Um, I think the closest replacement to something like this would be their new Daphne Hurricane. So definitely an option if, uh, if you're looking for something similar. But I love the Chester. I have a couple of them. I bought them again on clearance. Um, but they do fit the, uh, a lot more of the pedestals. So this like floral pedestal here, for example, that does not fit into the Shoreborn Hurricane, if that makes sense. But what do I have in this Chester Hurricane? Let me see if I can zoom in without the camera completely melting down. Oh, that's a pretty good shot. <laughs> Ice cream sandwich from Kringle. Oh, you guys, it's so good. I'm just telling you right now, go get it. As soon as it comes out, go get it. You're not gonna regret it. If you love gourmands, it smells absolutely delicious. Um, there's no way that I'm not gonna like have at least one backup of this i'm sorry i have to it's so good <laughs> anyway uh two big fat thumbs up for this one so far let's move on to the crops by the way uh nothing underneath any of my lamps this week um i do need to get out some homeworks candles to start melting so um, i'm gonna hunt down a couple of homeworks to be able to pop underneath my lamps for next week welcome to my laundry room in here, in this particular candle crock, which yes, is still one of my favorite candle crocks of all time. No, I can't link this one. It was long discontinued. <laughs> Get the white one that I have in the description box down below. It's a great neutral option. Anyway, what do I have in here? It is Kringle Fairy's Floss, which by the way, this is now the second, I think, full week this has been in there. And it is still going strong. Um, this was a candle that I never even lit up. It burns fantastically. Like I didn't put it in here because it's like uh, an ill-behaving candle. Um, I just put it in here because I love the fragrance and I'm basically getting 24-7 um, fragrance output because I don't ever turn my Crocs off when I'm melting something. I just let them go. Um, you can definitely turn them off. I'm not telling you that this is the way that you have to do it, but it's just the way I do it. 
So um, I think about another three, four days, and then this is probably going to be mostly dissipated in terms of the fragrance oils. Ooh, why are you not focusing? <laughs> So at that point, I will turn this warmer off. I will let that wax harden up, and then um, I will find another candle to pop in here. In all likelihood, um, I'm gonna have some ill-behaving Bath & Body Works candles, so um, those are probably what's gonna be going in there. Anyway, let's head upstairs. All right, friends, Alf and I <laughs> just, we just raced up the stairs together. That could have been disastrous because um, I almost uh, tripped over my feet and dropped this very expensive camera. Anyway, that's also why I'm currently huh, out of breath. Holy cannoli, I need to work out a little bit more. Okay, this is my candle crock in my master bedroom. This is the ivory crock that I have listed down below. So if you're curious to see what it looks like in person, isn't she lovely? Simple, not like overly, I don't know. There's no inspirational quotes. So <laughs> I would prefer this kind of scrolly design work over uh, a, a really terrible inspirational quote. So what do I have in here? It's another Kringle candle that was in here from the start. And you can tell that because these wicks were never lit. So this is Crinkle cookies. <laughs> this is actually an amazing holiday scent. I have my fingers crossed that Crinkle cookies sticks around. Um, it is so delicious. Normally, I don't like to do a lot of gourmand scents in the upstairs of the house, but I'm making an exception here. It smells so good in here. It smells like cookies in my bedroom, and it makes me so happy. Craig's a little thrown off by it, but he's going along with it because they are delicious smelling. So um, if you want an authentic, like, crinkle cookie fragrance, I think Kringle nailed it with this one. So she is delicious. Let's go check out the last crock in the back bedroom of the house. And here lies Tropidelic from Bath & Body Works. Um, she started misbehaving after I filmed the review, so I decided to pop her into the crock upstairs here. It smells amazing in here. I really like this scent, you guys. Um, great scent. Uh, the burn quality is a little iffy. It has the tree stump wicks, but what are you going to do? Um, I enjoyed it enough to where I didn't want to exchange it, so I just decided to let it live its life out here in this candle crock. My camera is, the battery is dying right now, so I'm gonna cut myself off here and pop in a new battery so that we can get back to filming the rest of this video. But that is what is currently going in all of the crocs in the house. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that little tour there. Um, let's talk about some candles that I finished up this week so I can give you some final updates here. Um, you'll also see these in my empties coming up uh, next week, but this is Kringle Reserve Fire. Uh, I ha I've had this candle for a really long time. Honestly, I do not burn fragrances like this really inside of my house. This is one of those like smoky hearth or like charred woods type of fragrances. This one is just slightly perfumey as well. It's actually a really lovely scent, but I just don't like these types of fragrances in my house. Um, when I was growing up, we actually, in most of the houses that we lived in, we had a wood fireplace. And so I just remember as a kid, like oftentimes I would kind of get made fun of at school for smelling kind of smoky. And that's because during the winters we had to heat our house with, you know, either a wood fireplace or one of those like um, pot belly type stoves. Um, we actually had one of those in one of the kitchens in a rental that we lived in. So I just always like smelled like smoke when I was younger and I just didn't like being teased about that. So I don't know. It's still something that's like lingering obviously in my adulthood. So while fragrances like this are actually kind of comforting in terms of the, the scent, um, I still have some negative memories associated with it. So I just prefer this kind of stuff outside. We do have this really beautiful um, outdoor fireplace here at this house, and we spend a lot of time out there. I do burn candles outside. I know that sounds absurd to some people, but um, anyway, that's, it's like an extension of our living room, so I don't see anything absurd about it, but certainly don't burn candles outside if that's not your vibe. But this one was really great out there because it, uh, it was really lovely alongside the natural like smokiness from each of the fires that we would build. Um, but this one again is slightly perfumey. So it just made everything smell just lovely. It smelled just like a beautiful kind of, I would say these types of smells remind me of like a cold fall evening. That's like a rainy cold fall evening. That's one of my favorite types of vibes. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? 
What are you doing? What are you getting into, huh? You restless? Yeah, why don't you take a nap, buddy? Anyway, that's delightful. It's finally finished. I will show you. Um, it's a little dirty, but again, I was burning this outside, so like the soot, the natural soot from the fireplace itself would land within this wax. I did have this on top of the mantle, uh, the fire in the fireplace outside, on top of the fireplace outside. There we go. Words. <laughs> okay, I don't know if this review has gone up yet. If it hasn't, I think it's supposed to go up this next week. I spent one afternoon, I just sat down and filmed a bunch of candle reviews. So reviews for things like Phoenix, um, Sinful, this, uh, some other like Homeworks fragrances. So, hey, Alphonse, come here. Alfie, come here. Come on, simmer down. Anyway, this is the garden bouquet from the recent garden party launch over at Homeworks. They also now have had like a tropical kind of launch as well. Homeworks is definitely starting to crank out the spring and summer fragrances. So um, yeah, you'll be seeing some more reviews of some Homeworks spring summer fragrances coming here shortly. Um, there are a few that I am interested in purchasing. So um, yeah, we'll, you'll see. But anyway, Garden Bouquet, if this review is not up quite yet, let me just kind of spoil it a little bit for you. This is a fabulous floral. It's a, it's a sweet floral, but it's so enjoyable. And the burn was great. Hey, buddy, come here. Come on, get in mama's lap. Come on, simmer down. You're normally not this restless. Uh, this is delightful and like every single drop of wax is basically gone out of here it's just this had a great burn i've had really great luck with the performance of these garden party collection candles so if you're in the market for ones that seem to be consistent i feel these have been for me for sure um another one that i finished now the last burn on this was kind of tough i'll show you um but also my daughter was kind of messing with this candle. Um, so it never fully pulled out on the last second to last burn there. So it kind of got a little rough at the end, but man, this is a great scent. And that was the only issue that I had like up until that point. Otherwise the strength and throw were good. The wicks were great. Um, hey, hello, sir. What is going on with you today? Um, anyway, did I tell you what this is? It's Blood Orange and Sage Gimlet. It is delightful. Listen, if you're looking for a like a true blood orange citrus scent, you gotta try this. Um, don't let the gimlet part freak you out. Like, I don't really smell gin in here necessarily. There's a touch of juniper. Um, you know, you obviously gin has a little bit of like a, a juniper fragrance to it. So there's a touch of that, but it's not... It doesn't smell like a boozy drink. It's it doesn't smell like a cocktail, but you know, more of like a mocktail. It smells like a mocktail. There you go. You can get a little touch of that sage as well. This is just beautiful. I would actually repurchase that. Now, one of the other fragrances that you'll see a review of, and I'm almost done with this one. Um, I'm I have one more burn left, and I think that might even be pushing it. Um, this is the honeysuckle mimosa. Ugh. I don't normally like honeysuckle either, but I really like this candle, you guys. These were so good. I received the entire garden party as PR, so I didn't pay for it, but I'm really glad they sent it because otherwise I don't think that I would have gotten any of them. And now I want more blood orange sage gimlet. Um, I want another honeysuckle mimosa. These are fabulous, you guys. These scents need to stick around because right now I'm not allowed to purchase like backups especially of homeworks, but I really want these scents to stay around because they are fantastic. They're really, really good. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, okay, um, I've got two crinkled candles here. You'll also see in-depth reviews of these. Um, these are candles that I purchased last year. In the case of this one, maybe even the year before, but I can't even remember. Um, this is Sinful and um, she is finished now. So I did finish it since filming the review. So no, no problems. I will say this one was just a touch lighter than I would prefer. But that being said, it wasn't like atrocious. Um, I just hope that the next one that I buy has maybe just a little bit more oomph to it. Okay, and then Phoenix. I really like this Phoenix. You know what it kind of reminds me of? And please let me know if it also reminds you of the Kringle Fiji. This kind of 
It's giving me Fiji vibes. Am I just imagining that? Anyway, in-depth reviews to come. Um, Bath and Body Works, first of all. Um, <laughs> I did end up returning both almond croissant candles. I just was like, mm, I... I had no luck with it burning. Um, I was hoping that it would transform into this, you know, beautiful gourmand that all of you were telling me was just like the best ever from Bath and Body Works. Like this is the gourmand to have. Um, it's so good. It just, for whatever reason, my nose did not like it. Um, it's totally fine. Like everyone's nose is just a little bit different or maybe there was a batch variation, but even when I returned it to in-store, the lady that was helping me, she ended up, um you know like smelling the burned one and she was like oh that does not smell right so it really kind of makes me wonder if maybe there was like a batch variation because normally i feel the same way as a lot of you guys do about you know a lot of gourmand scents um and it just i felt like there was something off about mine i don't know it, it smelled like plastic and i don't you guys didn't get plastic so something happened somewhere along the lines but there was one that was completely unburned and then the one that I, you know, had reviewed um, that was the burned one that I returned and they were super nice about it. And then I also took back the Waikiki Beach Coconut, but only because I had already reviewed that last year. I wasn't entirely sure when I placed the order whether I had or not, but I had reviewed that. And I'm not like re-reviewing the same fragrances from Bath and Body Works every single year. I just don't personally see a point in that unless there's some major type of change. So um, I ended up getting the, the Easter candle, which I've now since getting that have heard is super light, um, but it smelled really good. I skipped the Main Street, um, the Main Street Bakery one because it had the tree stump wicks and I just knew it was it was going to cause problems because and you'll see here in a second why I did that but um I just know that those wicks are not good wicks for me and I really wasn't super drawn to the banana in that one so that was an easy skip for me but I did pick up sunsets I think it was called sunsets in Maui um strawberry daiquiri I may have already reviewed strawberry daiquiri as well but it just smelled so good I was like I definitely need that I I love a nice fruity strawberry um and then obviously that Easter candle so those were the three exchanges that I made so um anyway yeah that's that's what happened but I know a lot of you were telling me about the Main Street Bakery and yeah I also smelled the um the pink is it pink lavender espresso uh it's the, the the pink the lavender espresso one that everybody is in love with listen when i stuck my nose in that all i smelled was like lavender and coffee which i know is the idea here <laughs> but i smelled a lot of lavender i know a lot of you guys were saying that it's mostly just a really great like coffee espresso type scent but my, I am a bloodhound when it comes to lavender. And as soon as I stuck my nose in it again, all I smelled was lavender. And I, I just, I don't like lavender. I don't like lavender and I don't like pineapple. And that's why I didn't pick up the um, hummingbird, uh, hummingbird cake, that one. Um, I didn't grab that either because while a lot of you said the pineapple isn't super prominent, I, I smell that pineapple right away. And... It was like the type of pineapple that I don't love where it's like that overly sweet kind of artificial pineapple. Pineapple is just not my thing. Like there's, here's the thing. Some people really like certain types of scents that other people just cannot get behind. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of gourmand scents that a lot of you guys who like fresher scents are probably like, oh my God, that would make me vomit if I had that in my house. Like, you know, not that lavender would make me vomit if I had it in my house, but it just, it just isn't enjoyable to me, you know? Like, everybody kind of has their own preferences. And for me, the lavender and the pineapple are just an immediate hard no, so that's why I skipped out on those. And I know those were ones that you guys like highly recommended, so I will leave them for you. You can, you can enjoy them, and then I'm gonna stick with stuff like this Calypso Clementine, because I'm really loving this. What I'm not loving are the wicks, but so far so good with this one. Um, I am limiting the burn on these to uh, less than three hours. So this one's still doing okay right now. Um, I haven't, uh, Alfie, come here. 
Alphonse. Besides the Tropidelic and the Almond Croissant, I haven't, um, I haven't uploaded any other Bath & Body Works reviews, but this one will be coming shortly. I really like this one. It is a, there is a slight touch of perfuminess, but this is mostly Clementine to my nose, and I really like it. Now, Tree Stump Wicks. Here is why I do not like Tree Stump Wicks. Now, I limited the I limited the burn of this one, especially because there were a couple people, um, including Connor. I just, I do not trust him. Hey, Alfie, come here. So here's the thing about Alf, guys. He's totally potty trained. He doesn't poop in the house and he doesn't like pee in the house. Like he doesn't just, you know, use the entire inside as his toilet. But what he does do is mark his territory. And so I have to be on him all the time because he will sometimes, I think, still get a whiff of like Mr. Kong or maybe when some of our friends have had, you know, their dogs come and visit over here. And he is just big on saying, no, this is my place. And honestly, I don't like cleaning it up. <laughs> so I'm usually on top of like elf duty so sorry for all the interruptions um but anyway let's get back to this one here she was burned within the time limit and uh hmm, she is she is getting uh rough this is being lit two and a half hours at a time you guys these wicks are just awful and it's the big thick tree stump wicks Hmm, all of my like new favorite scents I feel like that have these wicks just are awful. Now here's one that's doing okay. The Sweet Red Mango. Again, like two and a half, three hour time limit and she's okay. But that Wild Berry and Ube, I mean this is messy. This is going to end up going in the crock but I'd like to film a review first so... We'll bump that up on the list there so that I can get it in a crock. But the scent itself is so good. So is the sweet red mango. I'm really loving these candles. The fragrances themselves, so good. The wicks, however, a little iffy. A lot iffy. <laughs> okay, uh, here we have Tiki Beach. Man, I really like Tiki Beach. <laughs> it's been around for a really long time, but I've never actually tried it myself. So this was the year to try Tiki Beach and I love it. It is delightful. Now I haven't done a ton of Scentsy stuff this week. Honestly, I've been a little lazy about changing out my warmers. And um, so a lot of my warmers have been off. Um, I actually, you can see that warmer over there is off, but I did turn on this one on this side. Um, normally they're both on. But yeah, I only have a few warmers on this week and I've got some fresh stuff going. So I'm doing some Blue Grotto. Blue Grotto is an excellent dupe of Capri Blue Volcano. So there we go with this. Delicious, delightful. By the way, the new Scentsy catalog is coming. Um, mine should be here, I think today or tomorrow. Lisa is sending me my catalog and I know she's gonna pop some samples in there. So I cannot wait to smell some of the newness. Also, a good old-fashioned staple here is aloe water and cucumber. I love this one for a fresh, clean scent. I just, this, it's so good. It also pairs really nicely with Blue Grotto. And then I also have um, Simply the Zest, which is just a really nice, fresh, beautiful citrus. So good. Love it. And this. I don't I did, was just talking about how much I hate lavender uh, this this lavender was okay now I have this in the bedrooms upstairs this week it's, um it's kind of an interesting one because it doesn't really smell a whole lot like pure lavender it's kind of like a sweet lavender scent kind of perfumey but but in a young like almost fruity lavender kind of way it's really interesting. I don't remember if this was a Bring Back My Bar. I kind of feel like this may have been a Bring Back My Bar. I don't remember. But anyway, that was decent. As far as lavender goes, it was decent. So anyway, that's all that Alf and I have for you today. He has finally settled over on this chair. And she's just staring at me while I finish up this video here. So anyway, thanks for putting up with Alf's shenanigans today and my obvious distractions. I appreciate you guys being here. Um, remember to check out the first sniff impressions uh, from Kringle if you haven't done that. Again, that video is listed and linked down below. 
Um, let me know if you have any questions and um, Alf and I will see you in the next one. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and obviously subscribe if you're new. All right, see you the next time. Toodaloo!